recently I had an opportunity to uh, speak at a national convention. And in my speech, we were able to poll the audience about their ideas relative to compliance and risk reduction. Two different ways to handle risk within an organization. Most of the people in the room felt that they fell into the compliance method where they look at it as more of an educational process for the people, more uh, specific to the operation in which they work versus a general standard. In my career, I've seen hundreds of companies and they all handle it differently and there's not necessarily a right or a wrong way. I just think there's a better way. I think the risk reduction way is the better way. When we look at risk reduction, the methods used are to educate your employees, to let them know the costs of incidents and what really is affected by when they have an incident. Is it, is it related to profitability? Is it related to uh, their well-being? and how they fit into the mix and how by not having an incident they can have a more fruitful career, they can get raises and better equipment and things like that and then equate it to how it affects them. And so what I found is once employees get that, your risks and your operation can be reduced drastically. One of the reasons why employers focus on compliance is because of the threat of regulatory citations and it's real. We've seen $150,000, $200,000 citations at organizations due to violation of standards. That will get anybody's attention. So it's important to certainly make sure you have some measures of compliance. However, what I'm talking about today is the focus of the organization, the general thrust of where you want to take your organization and how you want to get there. And I think the best method is to be in compliance to follow those standards to some degree, but also educate your people and work on risk reduction tactics that way. One of the ways that I would first address the risk reduction method at an organization is to conduct surveys. First thing we need to do is figure out what the employees know, what are their feelings about loss and risk and waste within the organization and then take a look at the organizational perspective as far as how they, managers and owners, how do they view risk and is it important or is it not? And it's very easy to get somebody's attention when you can show them a million dollars worth of loss or waste within their business. Those are huge expenses. That's pure profit. So if we can show them ways to educate their employees and then educate their management and to get everybody on the same page, you can do great things.